Okay, oh, what is everybody? Today we are back again with another video and we have early access to Revantuli Coast as you can see here. So while I do the intro, let's actually load it in here and oh my god, that hoodie. Oh, I am so hyped about to play this. I was watching the streams and man, oh man, that trailer that came out the other day as well. Freaking amazing. This week has just been news update. I mean, we got release date for this. We got... Uh, Call of the Wild, The Angler coming out. We've got so much news. Way of the Hunter update as well. Or not update, uh, info as well. Crazy, crazy, crazy week. And we've got early access this weekend. So this is going to be great. We're going to be doing streams. We're going to be doing videos. This one's going to be more of like a first reaction to everything. You know, going through here a little bit. Seeing the lay of the land. Just walking through there. Having a little bit of a, a feeling of how things are going to go. Um, but yeah. We're also going to be talking about bug fixes soon in another video. We don't have those quite yet, the full list. So once I'll get that, I'll make a video about that as well. But yeah, I mean, let's get right into this. I am super, super excited. Like I said, I think this is just going to be freaking amazing. I will very quickly have to turn off the missions in a second just because, you know, uh, we can't spoil anything for that. But yeah, here we are now, I think. If it will load, come on. There we go. And oh, we spawn right at a lodge. Let me quickly just turn the missions off just because, you know, don't want that to be going away. Turn the mission system off. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That is how we want it. And damn, this looks nice. This really does look nice. Let's go on the map real quick. Let's have a look. All right, this is this is going to be freaking great. I'm going to I don't know what we should do first. I'm I'm really debating of what we should try to go for first. I feel like if we try and go like just do a little bit of everything, try and go through the store, see what we can have already um and just try that. That might be a good idea, but we go in here. Alright, that's not a door to go into. But I'd assume that somewhere around here is the lodge that we can go into. But I'll quickly go look around and then I'll be right back in just a minute. Now, one thing I am noticing going through here, I think you guys might be able to spot it as well. They've done some reworks on how things look here um, in terms of the icons. I noticed a little bit more in the store. If we go, for example, for the collars, they're all kind of like on a straight line now. Sometimes I feel like they were before they were like a little bit tilted. But it's just like very subtle. It's very small. Like look, the tents look a little bit different. I mean, it looks a little bit more modern in my idea. Like it looks a little bit more It has a cleaner finish to it. I'm I'm going to call it that, but I've just I've noticed that we're going through here and you do actually get where is it? All of these new collars here. There is a bunch of them in here. Um, I haven't seen one that um, is for the birds that you wouldn't have. So uh, that is good to know. You also get, um, where is it? Not that, layup lines. You get one of these as well, which is going to be very nice. But yeah, I've just done this so far. I think we're going to take a 12 gauge um, and the M1 with us. And then I'll take some collars and that whole thing with us. And then look, here we can see our inventory now with the wheel as well. So yeah, that's awesome. So you can do that with Q now. Let's let's actually open this. Oh, so it is middle mouse button that you open this with up like this. Okay. That is awesome. And yeah, as you can see, you can kind of see all the details about it, what you have in there. Very nice. Very, very nice. I think there's going to be more something for uh, console players. I think I'll still be using it like this just because I have my hotkeys with the one, two, that kind of thing. But for console players, this is definitely going to be a huge huge thing that's going to make it a little bit easier to make sure that you use the right weapon for things and just be able to get there a little bit quicker i mean one thing i just have to say is that this is this just looks awesome look this is where the lodge was that we were just at if you walk right down here oh boy does this look freaking fantastic and i believe this over here should be one of the boats you can now see that you can uh, fast travel across to the other side of the 
lake. Let's talk. Where does this take us? Um, where were we just now? Okay, look, there you go. Oh, okay. That's awesome. So you can see exactly where this takes you now. That is going to be very, very handy. That is... That's great to see. That is really, really great to see. Also, big, big shout out to EW for giving me early access. Uh, there's a bunch of other creators that got it as well. So make sure to check that out there as well. I mean, this it's just really, really awesome to be able to get this early and get to play this, get to show this off for you guys. Like, this is just such an incredible thing. And I just wanted to say thank you one more time as well um here you'll hear me say it a lot and during the streams as well like this is just such an amazing experience being able to do this being able to play this online and uh, online early um get to try it out just such an awesome experience but yeah let's go around here now i need to make a little bit more cash so that we can actually start getting some of the um some more decoys and that kind of stuff but i think we'll manage that pretty quickly once we get some of these um, ducks and geese setups going but for now I'm just gonna walk through here experience the map a little bit and if we find something we'll shoot it I'll try and go for some of the more new species um, if I can I just kind of set it a generic time in the morning at uh, 8 40 I think is when I set the time but we'll go through here now um, and if I see anything cool I'll definitely definitely let you know Damn, it's so atmospheric. I just hear birds chirping left and right in my ears. I can't see a thing, but I hear them. <laughs> That's all I can say. I can hear them. I don't see them. Oh, but let's look. Let's look. Maybe this, this track will lead us somewhere. Probably not the most effective way to doing this, but you know. Kind of got to get around the place as well either way, so might as well do both. Ooh, and there's white tailed already there. Let's have a look. I don't think they got any changes. Um, in terms of their fur or anything. But obviously, uh, we might as well go check it out. And look, oh, there's some more there already again. Might as well get some of them down for cash. And I don't know if I'm just hitting bad shots or if these guys got stronger. I don't think they did, but I think I'm just hitting bad shots. But let's have a look. Ooh, look at that. We already have some Eurasian lynx back there as well. Just running around like a wild dog in circles. But yeah, let's uh, look. Did they change anything about the white tail deer? I don't think they did. Ooh, hold on. This looks a lot cleaner. Whoa. Is it just me or does this look... I don't think that's just me. I hope this comes through on, on YouTube as well with all the compression. But this looks a lot cleaner, like with the new reflections and stuff. You guys are probably like, this is a terrible white tail there. But like, this just looks like the fur, like here. There's so much more like contrast and just detail in it. Like, that's just awesome. Holy, that is really, really cool. Kind of want to shoot that lynx, but I don't have a weapon for them right now. So we'll let him be for now. Or her let him be, I guess. But I'm blown away. I didn't expect that. I thought that they were they didn't do any changes to the actual in-game screen. Uh, or the trophy shot screen. Whatever you want to call it. I didn't expect there to be any changes there. But that seems to be looking a lot. Like really, really clean. But now that we looked at that, I actually want to see if they look different in game, not just there. And I feel like they look a little bit more, like they have a little bit more detail to them. But I don't know if that's my mind just playing tricks. I mean, you guys can let me know down in the comments what you think. I think this definitely looks like it's a little bit more lively, a little bit more realistic in that sense. But yeah, you can see it here now, especially at this angle. Like... This definitely has had some kind of touch-ups there. Like, that looks really, really good. Like, that looks absolutely crazy. I'm amazed by that. I truly, truly am. But yeah, let's... Um, where should we go down to? 
kind of we should try and walk maybe let's maybe get this lookout tower here see where there's some more houses in the way what was that Ooh, hazel grouse let's look if i can spot one of them that'd be cool i should have probably brought a 22 with me as well Ooh, i just had a spotting thing come on where are you at there you are hazel oh look at all right, let's look if I can get in a better shot to shoot them. Uh, I know I don't have the 22 on me. Uh, but I feel like we might as well just have a look at the models up close as well. Um, let's maybe not do it like that. Let's do it like that. I know the M1 is not ethical for this and we will actually go hunt them properly. But... For now, I wanted to kind of just look and see what they actually look like. Because it always looks a little bit better when you actually pick them up in person. So I am very, very, very curious to see what they're actually going to be looking like. And I hear more of them around me as well. I'm just going to pull out the shotgun just in case. But, oh, look at that. That looks sick. That is awesome. Let's look. What do they need for diamond? So diamond, they need 435. This would have actually been a, a yeah, a silver um, female. Yeah, look, oh, look, they did a little update here as well to these logos, which is just, it looks really good. I, I sound like oh, way too excited for maybe these small things, but I, I I just think that that's like super, super helpful, especially for new players. It makes a little bit more sense to what you did wrong uh, if you end up missing one of your harvest checks, which is just going to make that a little bit easier to understand what they all actually mean and what they're all for. Ooh, well, we've got some more white tail drinking. Now look at how open this is. I must well check what time they drink. So they drink from 8 to 12 in the morning. Um, which is definitely a good time. We've got a pretty big guy there as well. Might as well take him out. And I guess we'll take that too there because, I mean, the cash is good. But if they drink at lakes like this, this is going to be the map for freaking grinding white till deer. I'm telling you, like, look at how easy it is to spot here. Like, those guys were super easy to see. Like, really, really easy to see. Obviously, these lakes are quite big, but like having one tent at each one of these lakes, having like maybe two or three zones here, depending on how populated it is, this could be a really, really good grinding spot for trying to get a white tilde great one. But I mean, we'll have to see. We'll see over the weekend. We'll try some things out, but I think we'll try out some of the new things first. Uh, and then we're going to, once the live game hits out, actually try and go for the actual great one there. Because we still need one on this account. We still need a great one white tail for sure. And I still can't get over how freaking sick this looks. Like these new freaking graphics are just insane in the harvest screen. We're going to check at the end as well how this looks in the trophy lodge. Because if this is the same thing in the trophy lodge. Like this could be absolutely game changing. For like stuff for me as a content creator obviously for thumbnails this is great but also just in terms of graphics like this is just so cool like it does all it just adds so much more texture and livelihood to the animals like they look so realistic now and like the colors now that i look at this it looks a little bit more rich as if you kind of turned up the um the saturation a little bit in the game like that's what it almost feels like like this is really really cool i'm absolutely loving this this is just freaking amazing and parts of this map are just crazy open so if you maybe have a good time and you know what for animals feed this might even be a really good map like Silverbridge peaks to go around and hunt for feed zones if you ask me all right we just had a call from here as well uh, i think it was a rock farm again oh i just had a spot thing I see it running there. No, that's a white-tailed deer. Oh, there we go. Rock farm again. 
Can I shoot them? Oh, wait, there's more on the ground. Right, let's look if I can spook these guys up. Please tell me there's still some here. Do I see any? It looks like there's more than two here, so I feel like... Some of them might be lurking around, but they're not running away. Interesting. Okay. I guess we'll have to come back for these. But, yeah. Wow. Oh, this is going to be crazy. This is just... So, so cool. Yeah, these were rock farmigans. I right, will have a look at them as well. Um, I'm sure we'll meet more. And yeah, look at these fields. This is just... I know I'm using the word wow a lot already in this video, but like... Ooh, we've got some back there. Some more hazel grouse. You know what? Let's try and get close to them. And let's see if I can actually maybe hit one of them with a shotgun. And not take them out with an M1. Because that did seem a little bit cheaty there earlier. Alright, we are close enough now. They're like 75, 80 meters out. Let's look if I can... Get them to flush out. Obviously, the closer I can get, the better it is. Where are you now, guys? Come on. Oh, he's running. He's running. Okay, we got one of them. He's flying that way. Oh, we got both of them. Look at that. Female first. And whoa. Does that look cool? I mean, we already looked at the females, though, earlier. Oh, a little bit of lag there. Okay, there we go. Computer just being... Messing up a little bit. But yeah, let's look. There is the male. I'm curious if they look different like the other animals. Or if they're going to be like the geese where males and females look rather similar. But let's have a look here. And yeah, they look rather similar, but... That is... A gorgeous trophy. He is just a silver... Yeah, he's, he's a silver by a long shot away still from gold. I'm curious, do these guys go up to level 5 then, maybe? I'm not sure. I, I honestly didn't write that down during the stream, so that's something I'm going to have to find out myself. But you guys might know in the comments, so you guys can definitely let me know if they go up to class 5 or not. But I feel like they might. I'm still sad that we didn't actually get to shoot one of the rock farmigans, but that's the problem when you don't bring a A22 with you. Record one more thing. All right, we finally have some rock farm again down here. I wish I could actually spot them better. We're gonna go for a blind shot there. See if we hit anything. Otherwise, we might just have to look around and see if we get... Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. All right, we think we should be able to get that one through the trees. Ooh, I don't know. Did we hit one of them? No, we didn't. All right, let's look if I can find and see where they're going to land. Because we have a good shot usually at seeing where they are going to go back down. And maybe then we can get a shot by sneaking up on them again. Ooh, there we go. A brown bear. We can actually have a look and see what changes were made to them. Because they looked like they had fur variation changes done on them um, pretty sure we got one good hit in there but obviously with the M1 that is going to take its fair time there we go got a good long hit in there perfect ooh we've got a raccoon dog back there I haven't actually got to see what these guys look like, so we might as well take a shot on that real quick. Again, I don't have the right weapon for them, but, you know, this is not kind of about hunting one specific animal. I kind of just wanted to see um, as much as we could in one video. And there is some willow farmigan back there, but yeah, we're not going to be able to get those. They're way too far out, but look at that. These bears look freaking incredible. 
Like, this is just phenomenally well done. Like, look at that. Like, they've obviously a species that we've had before, but they never looked like this in the actual, like, screen here. Like, they used to look a whole lot different. That is crazy. That looks so freaking good. That is just incredible. All right, here we go. Let's have a look. Raccoon dog. Ooh, these guys look nice. These guys look very, very nice. Diamond is 9.29. This guy, oh, this female, she was level two, would have been a silver. But yeah, they give good cash considering I just didn't get the harvest check bonus. Not too shabby. Oh, and very good weapon score, 55. That is definitely very good. These guys might be a great candidate to try and get rifle score or like other scores out of them. Definitely, definitely not too bad. Right, we've got some Willow Farmigan back here now, and I feel like these guys, yeah, they're calm. They have no clue I'm here. So let's try and get close, and let's see if we can potentially get a, a good shot off at them. And that one looks brighter than the other, so I'm going to try and focus on her. Because I don't know, maybe she might be a rare. Because I don't think I've seen one that bright um, in the other ones. She's clearly not an albino, but you know, she does look a lot brighter in comparison to the others. Nope. Ah, right, here we go. I mean, there's just one running right in front of me. And there is... Oh, reload, 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 reload. Oh, wait, he's just going to land right there. Where's the other one? I hear one more. There's one walking. Oh, there. All right, out of shells. But let's pick these guys up at least. I know I shot them on the ground. But I can't do anything if they just don't want to fly away. Wow, these guys look really cool as well. I... I'm just freaking impressed. Like, these are just really, really cool. Especially with how the new, like, screen looks. I am very, very much impressed by this. That is so, so cool. Sadly, we didn't get the one that looked brighter, but I don't think it actually was a rare. Because uh, there was a male next to it that seemed to have, like, a white bottom, bo um, white bottom part of the body as well. So I don't think that was a rare, but, you know. We'll shoot more of these, we'll see more of them, and then we can kind of figure out maybe if that was a rare or not. Okay, now here we are in the lodge. I just wanted to generally see how this looks, and it almost appears like the lion mane here got fixed as well. Because that's actually not being, like, not rendered. The same thing's for the, the elk, like the whole mane down here, or the beard, whatever you want to call it. All of that is completely rendered in. There's not as high of the reflection slash contrast in here. At least from what I can spot. But. That might just. I don't know. You guys can tell me if you see a difference here. I feel like I can only see the difference that these, this hair that's over here. On all of the animals is actually rendering in. And there's not just the big white block there. Which is awesome to see. Like, that was one of the issues that we were having before in the lodges. But, yeah, all of them, bison, even the lion. The lion is the one that I'm really surprised about because I always had issues with the lions rendering in the lodge. I'd be curious to see how they actually load in on, um, in the game, in the actual harvest screen to see if there's any changes done there. But, no, like, there might be a slight bit more detail on them. But I feel like it's mostly in the harvest screen and uh, in the in-game thing because there's more reflections. I'd assume that in the lodge here, there's just generally less reflections, which is what makes them look this kind of the same as they were before. But I am really liking this. I'm going to be very, very happy when we're actually going to be going live later, exploring a little bit more of the new map. This was obviously just kind of get into it, have a little bit of a look into all the new animals, 
kind of get a feel for the map, get a feel for what things look like. We're definitely going to be doing a lot more deeper dives here in the future. So if you want to go ahead and watch those, make sure to subscribe so that you guys can actually see those as well. And if you enjoyed this and you want to see more of this, make sure to come to the stream later and hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. But with that being said, that's going to be it. Bye bye. Yeah, and peace.